Today I've got a lovely pair of Rosecraft blade knives to show you. This is the Rosecraft Clinch River Swayback in Bourbon Bone and this is the Rosecraft Blades Lusahashi Jack. I'll be looking at both of them in detail. Stay around and I'll give you my view on them at the end. Let's start with the Rosecraft Clinch River Swayback. Now this one belongs to me. I bought it second hand from Slipjoint Sawyer. You might know him from the Slipjoint Sanitarium Discord group. It's a really nice knife. It feels nice in your hand when it's opened. I really love this big finger choil on the blade. So so just starting with the specifications on this. So it weighs in at 115 grams or 4.2 ounces. So you notice it when you've got it in your pocket. The length closed is 101 millimeters or four inches. And the length open is 184 millimeters or just a little bit over seven inches. It has this really nice swayback shape, which I like. The blade is a Warncliffe, as you can see here. It's in D2 steel, and it has a satin finish. Let's see if we can see that satin finish there. It's got a nice swedge at the top here, and a decent size nail nick as well. In the hand, it fits as I said, it fits really well there. A good full forefinger grip with your thumb on the top. So it's really secure. It's not going anywhere if you're using it for cutting. Having the Warncliffe blade, it means it's great for point cuts as well as the blade, as well as this nice straight blade here. The blade length is 3.1 inches or 79 millimeters. And the actual cutting edge is 63 millimeters. Okay, you can see the reverse side of the blade there. So really nice look about it. Going down to the handle, you can see this really nice bourbon bone. It's got steel liners and nickel silver pins. I believe it is UK friendly carry. It's just about in size. It has a good walk and talk as well with that half stop and then fully closed. So a really nice sound to it. You can see it's been really well made. It's a traditional style with a modern construction. And from what I've seen on YouTube, the QC appears to be really good. It's made in China and their QC is excellent. You can see the tang stamp there, or should I say etching for the Rosecraft blades. It's got the nice rosebud shield there as well. Just checking the sharpness. Now, I got this second hand, but from the look of it, I don't think Slippy's had to sharpen it. Let's just give it a try anyway. Oh, super sharp. So I'll have to check with Slippy to see if it came like this or if he's sharpened it himself. Anyway, that is the Rosecraft Clinch River Swayback. Now, looking at the Lusahachi Jack. So this is slightly smaller. When closed, it's 92 millimeters or 3.6 inches. And it's got a really nice bourbon bone. And this is in the dragon scale jigging. And let's see if we can get a close up of that. It's really beautiful. 
Now, this isn't my knife. This is on loan from Sean from the Slip Joint Sanitarium Discord group. So Sean's a good friend and he's kindly lent me this so I can do a great comparison. Just looking around it, you can see that it's really nicely put together with no gapping. Again, this has stainless um, steel liners and a D2 blade and it's got nickel silver pins as well, I believe. Really nicely put together. So all, all of the Rosecraft blades are made in China. Let's have a look at it open. So open, the length is six and a half inches or 165 millimeters. The blade length is 2.875 inches or 73 millimeters. Really nice shape to the blade. You can see the clip point there with the nice swedging and the really long nail nick. There's the RCB etching. And on the reverse, you can see it's D2 steel. It's a satin finish as well, but it's still a little bit of a fingerprint magnet. In the hand, you can still get a good four finger grip. And the walk and talk, it's pretty solid. It's got a decent pull, but not too strong. And a nice firm click into place really good half stop with a bit of pressure needed to close it but you can hold it really easily i really like the shape of the blade it's quite wide decent point as well let's just see how sharp it is i don't think sean's sharpened it and it's super sharp just looking at the two knives together now these were both designed by andy armstrong and i'm sure you'll have seen some of his work before really nice knives i i like both of them i, I particularly like this because of the warncliffe blade which means you can go do a good draw cut but both of them are excellent I'd be a little bit sad to send back the Lusahachi, but it will be on its way back to Sean after I finish this video. So what do I think of Rosecraft? Because there's been a lot of hype about them and a lot of people get very excited when the new patterns come out. I think they are excellently made knives. It's well worth checking out Steel City Knives review of a Rosecraft blade. He comes at it from quite a different angle. He's very much a traditionalist. And whilst these are in a traditional pattern, they're not made in a traditional way. And check out his video. I'll, I'll put a link in the description so you get a good view of it. For me, I, I'm, I'm not a knife collector. Um, I, I don't really understand the full ways that traditional knives are made. I, I, I have a rough idea. So for me, these seem to be nicely made, well-engineered knives. Do I think they're worth it? That's something different. I mean, I'm glad I've got one for my collection, small as it is, uh, this one. And seeing the Lusahachi with it as well, I, I can see they're nicely made. I can see why, why people like them. And from what I understand from other videos, that the quality control seems to be excellent both out of China and from Rosecraft themselves. I think they do a secondary quality check as well. So I think these are well worth getting. It's up to you if you think they're worth the money. I'd get them now because I, I think the prices are going to be going up, especially as they move into some of the more expensive materials. I understand there are some stag handled knives coming out either now or, or pretty soon. So um, if you like the look of them, check them out. Thanks for watching. Why don't you check out some of my other videos and check out this video that's over here or this playlist here. And if you haven't already, why not hit the subscribe? Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.